Today, I'm gonna show you guys some simple investments you can make in FIFA 22. Now these investments, it's gonna be about a one to two week hold and I'm expecting about a 50% return on them. So say you invest a million coins, I would expect to get about 500K back. Now, we are looking at fodder, it's pretty simple. Um, right now we have the team of the group stage promo i don't expect any crazy spcs during this promo we have squad battle rewards coming on sunday and then the last supply that we're probably going to be getting is on tuesday we're going to have champions league marquee matchup so really any time in between then i think you can get into fodder now the reason why i'm saying you guys should be buying fodder is because after this team of the group stage promo we are going to have the freeze promo which if you remember last year had a ton of SBCs. We'll have Icon SBCs, Player SBCs. We should be seeing our first Party Bag SBC as well. So Fodder will go up with that. I already posted about these investments in the Discord, but I'm gonna go a lot more in depth into it in this video. So let's start off. We have Tiago right here. Just looking at Fodder, 86 overall Tiago. I want this guy for around 11,500 coins. I'm gonna go through a bunch of cards. Uh, looking at ratings, I'll just pull up the Discord right now. Uh, I like 84 overall cards for around 2,800 coins. But the thing is, when you're looking at fodder, you want to make sure you guys buy the correct cards. So you want a good nation, a good position, and a good league. An example of a card that's not so good, which is, I believe he's cheaper than 2,800 coins. We, oh, he's up a little bit. He is up a little bit. It's getting a, a little late. So Tadic, for example, you're not really going to want to invest in Tadic. He's not the best 84 overall card. But... One player that could be decent, I might be wrong here, is Jorginho an 85 or an 84? He's an 85. Let me pull up an 84 overall card real quick. All right, an example of an 84 overall card that could be decent is Felipe. He is Brazilian, he is a center back, and he is from La Liga. So he checks off every single box pretty much. If you can get this guy maybe for... 3,000 coins or less, I'd say that's pretty solid. Around the freeze promo, I think easily he'll be over 4,000 coins, maybe pushing 5,000 coins potentially. Now, another thing I should say is that these prices are PlayStation, but the difference between PlayStation, Xbox, PC, when it comes to fodder, it's not really that different. So you can pretty much go off similar prices. Now, on to the next rating, we have 85. So we can go and look at Jorginho now. Uh, Jorginho is good nation, good team, good league and good position as he is a center midfielder center back center mid striker even goalkeeper those are in pretty much every single formation so formation sbc they're in pretty much every one uh 85 overall cards i would say 85s for around 6,000 coins is solid so if you can pick up Jorginho's for about 6,000 coins i think that's great for this Jorginho, i think we could see him go to a price of around 9,000 coins during the freeze promo for the next rating we already talked about it we were looking at tiago for around 11,500 coins i think if you can get 86 overall cards for about 11k that's pretty solid. I like that. For their prices during the freeze promo, I think we can see them around 16,000 coins at some point. Moving on to the next rating, we have 87 overall cards for about 16,000 coins. Now, there are a few players you could pick up in the 87 overall range. I like Ruben Diaz. Uh, another card that is pretty decent. Ah, I might pick that one up since it has a shadow. Another card that might be decent could be Trent, just because of the fact that he should be getting a Team of the Group stage card, so he's going to be out of packs. That just means there's going to be less supply on Trent, so he could go up a little bit more than some of the other cards. For the 87 overall cards like Ruben Diaz, I think we can see them pushing around 23 to 24,000 coins during the freeze promo. Now, next rating, we have 88 overall cards. I don't think I posted a buy price for them, but 88 overall cards, I'd probably say around uh 22k somewhere around there i think xbox they might be a little cheaper like kalor navas i was looking on xbox i think he was around 20k 21k somewhere around there but if you can get these guys i'd say kalor navas on playstation aim for 22k sergio ramos aim for 22k and another player that's gonna have a promo card we have bruno fernandez if you can get him for around 22k you might have to pay a little bit more because he's somewhat usable so maybe 22.5, 23k, anywhere around there. And for their prices, I believe these 88 overall cards during the freeze promo will go to. My guess for these 88 overall cards is that they'll be around 30,000 coins, maybe a little higher than that in a week or two. The last two rating investments that I put were 89 overall cards for 30,000 coins and 90 overall cards for 40,000 coins. It's pretty expensive. If you have a lot of coins and don't want to spend too much time, I think picking up a couple of those won't be too bad. Now, another investment I wanted to throw in this video was 
team of the week we're just going to be looking at the fodder nothing too crazy now here we go players i would look at the 84 overall cards james <clears throat> madison and i believe who was the other player uh diaby where's diaby at oh he's on the bench okay if you can pick up these two 84 overall cards for around 11k i don't mind that and then we have Saka. if you can pick him up for about 14k i think that's a solid price laborde i would say 13,000 coins that's not too bad and then we have gundagon if you can get him for i would say he's he's down in price a little bit right now you might want to pay below 18k i'd say maybe 17k if you can get that that'd be pretty solid and that's pretty much it for the team of the week investments i'm not looking at too many players from this i know there is van dyke and there is De young but i think these cards are probably going to come down a bit more especially with champions league marquee matchups coming out on tuesday before i end this video i wanted to show you guys real quick this website is amazing this is fifa 21 last year all the sbcs we got in december so we can see what came with the freeze promo uh there were i think a bunch of league sbcs dropped during that we had a bunch of player sbcs as you can see here freeze Juan basaka gaia we had icon sbcs a base or mid icon sbc we had icon player sbcs leon bailey sbc there is so much we had a team of the week upgrade we had i believe there's a party bag i may have scrolled past it i'm not sure it might be down here freeze party bag there we go. We had an unsolved the SBC. I think there may have been player SBCs every day. If I am correct, I might be wrong. Freeze Marquinhos. Oh, I missed that card. That was one of my favorite cards last year. Freeze Marquinhos. Freeze Roberto Firmino, which I believe this card was ridiculously expensive. Um, yeah, it was a really expensive card last year. But a uh, bunch of challenges every day daily sbcs freeze Jao victor the list just goes on and on there's a lot of sbcs during this promo so fodder is going to do very very good and that is going to sum it up for this video guys apologies for not posting on youtube for a while i don't really have a way of notifying you guys but i was sick pretty sick for like two to three weeks almost i was just laying in bed the entire time uh i haven't been streaming much lately i'm still sick i, I don't know I, I think i had the flu but um i'm back hopefully I should be posting again, but I hope this video helped you guys out. I'm going to be investing the 2 million coins that I have. The rest of it is going right into fodder. I'm just going to hold for two weeks and relax. I don't want to stress too much about trading. I want to play the game, enjoy it. So fodder is what I'm going to be investing in. Thank you guys for watching this video. It's good to be back. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more trading content. Join our free trading discord. The link is in the description down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.